So yo guys, in this video, we're gonna be reviewing and checking out the Fragment Jordan collection. So we have the Jordan Freeze as well as the Jordan Air Cadence, which is the new lifestyle model. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm gonna show you, give you a detailed look, and I'll also be giving you an on-free look on how these two look. So I got my little Fragment Mew for the Fragment opening today. Probably gonna to take a fit pick with that. And also, wearing the Fragment ones, you probably have to look this way, boom. I thought I'd show you that. Anyways, just to churn out some seconds, because we've got to get this video to eight minutes. The last review didn't even get eight minutes. So, we're gonna churn this one. So we got some of the clothing from the collaboration. These are some of the pieces that I wanted. The collection for the clothing is crazy. There's so many pieces that I want, but I managed to get these. They were sitting in store when I went to collect my shoes. So we got two t-shirts. I'll show you how one of them looks. Obviously they're the same fit. And then we also got the sweatshirt here. Um, I'm probably gonna be wearing a t-shirt, but I'll probably, I'll take these out and show you how they look anyways. But I think they got the same design. I think this and the t-shirt is the same design. So I'll just show you the t-shirt version. But let's get into the shoes. So we got this Jumpman box uh, only for the fragments. We're gonna see this, we got the fragment logo there as well. And yeah, you can see from my raffle win. Uh, what else? There's not really any more fragment um, branding, just that. But this is the same logo and design you'll see on a lot of the apparel. But let's open this up together. Boom, so we got fragment paper here. Oh, the quality. So this is the first time looking, I didn't have a look on purpose. Uh, because I want to have like a first look with you guys as well. Well, let's get one at one. If you didn't know, Jordan 3s are actually my favorite pair of Jordans. Um, Jordan 3s are the shoes that got me into sneakers, so this was a must for the collection. But Jordan 1s do look the best on feet, but Jordan 3s is my favorite. So I'll put that away, and you can just see, look at that. Just look at the quality, the leather. I'm not sure if the sky is too much highlight on the shoe, but the tumbled leather on there. The leather, like, you can instantly feel how good the quality is, and also the tongue is just nice, just a nice little leather all over. So boom, let's get into the shoe. So the main detail is on the rear. We have a translucent jump man with a fragment behind it and the air is painted black. Um, you, this will yellow easily. You can slightly see, like uh, like you have, when you have translucent bottoms on shoes, this will also, because it's translucent, it'll probably, how translucent is it? You can't really see through it, to be honest. There's probably like a sheet behind the tab, but this will yellow probably. But yeah, I've seen some yellow already, so this is probably something you want to look out for. I'm not sure if you can kind of see it here, but you can probably see a little bit of discoloration between the lever and the teal tab. And then another Fragment logo, main reason for these ones. You've got the Fragment stamp here, similar to the ones. I'll do a comparison with the one stamp, uh, but then we have this text here. We see this in a lot of uh, the Nike Fragment collaborations. If you can decipher this, what this means, let me know, but um, I've seen it before. I'll put a screenshot in the anyways up, but yeah. So on the tongue is just a normal smooth leather uh, with a white Jumpman. I think the white on white Jumpman looks cooler than if they did a black Jumpman. But then also on the upper, we have like this perforated like details here, here and here. And then you got the tumbled leather. I'm not sure, hopefully you can capture that tumbled leather on the camera, there we go. Boom, the tumble level is awesome. Any tumble level on these Jordans. But then we also have the smooth leather on the black. So it kind of gives you a nice contrast between the different leather materials, like three different levers here. And I think the black bit on the bottom just makes it a very nice shoe, like very good details, etc. Then we've got a panda looking bottom, black and white. It's pretty much panda looking crep to be honest. But then insoles, we got navy insoles. And you can kind of see the fragment logo on the bottom. Try and get that to the light. You can see right on the bottom there's a fragment logo it's, pr it's printed in black so it's very hard to see um see so, oh yeah and we've got fragment here and what do we have here both of them would say fragment on them so you got three little fragment details and just cool uses of leather on the threes this is not the only fragment jordan shoe that dropped today we also got these and these were sitting in the store uh selfridge is an offspring offspring and selfridge is sorry but boom same paper again no hang tags no spell laces from the looks of things. I actually tried this one on st in store. But because this is a new lifestyle model, I wanted to try them on just to see uh, what the sizing was like, if um, true to size is correct. And yeah, for this, I think true to size, you wanna go true to size. So let me sort the laces out and we'll go back into it. 
So boom, these are the new Jordan lifestyle model. I'm like, I don't really cop uh, Jordans that are not retros, etc. But this one just looks so cool. Uh, Sneaker Myth posted a pic a few uh, weeks ago, a few, um, few months ago, and they just look really cool. Uh, it's just a cool lifestyle model to be honest, and obviously with the Fragment collaboration, the Fragment brand. And this probably sold me, if it didn't have this like half Fragment logo there, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I just saw it from the corner of my eye sitting on the shelf, so I grabbed this one. Same here, we've got the speckled cement um, on the midsole. Um, this is probably the new outsole for this one. Just a, it's a different model, so you obviously got the air unit there as well. Um, yeah, here we got the fragment logo in the insoles in white at least, so you can see that clearly. So it looks like it's gonna uh, repeat logo all the way up. So you got fragment on the heel tabs on this as well. So you pretty much got fragment here, um, in here, and just a little bit here, and obviously the insoles. But you won't see that when you're walking. But I don't know, I'll show you how they look like on feet and you're going to see, um, you give me your opinion if these look cool on feet. I think they're just going to look cool on feet, especially with like some grey joggers. These are essential joggers if you're wondering and they probably look good with these. Um, so yeah, obviously you got the suede here, there's like padding in these bits here. So just nice suede as well, like a nice um, textured suede, not like some cheap suede. Here you got like a repeat Jumpman logo on the pull tab is here as well. Shame they could have done double fragment but I think that would have been overkill if they did fragment on both the tabs. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. My girl doesn't like these, but I just think these are really, really cool on feet. I, I don't know, I saw a picture early and I thought these are really cool lifestyle casual models. So yeah, we're gonna show you how both of these look on feet. Let me change which color t-shirt. So I'm gonna shoot a Jordan 3 picture right now. Which t-shirt do you think I should wear? Let's get one of them out. I think let's get the gray one out because that one you can see the details because the other one's black on black. So yeah, I think Sneaker Myth posted this as well really early and I was like, I need the whole collection. Oh, we only managed to get some. We tried to cop some. Also, if you don't know, follow Sneaker Myth on Twitter. They post links. I was trying on Nike, BSTN, uh, Foot Patrol, uh, Opium. A lot of stores dropped this this morning. So if you want links to all the releases, etc., follow Sneaker Myth um, as well. But yeah, this is huge. I got double XL. <laughs> it's like... I don't know, we'll see how it looks, maybe it's just something casual. But um, main thing that I noticed when we first got this, you got so on the neck you got the Fragment Jordan along the ribbing. You won't really see that, but then also the Fragment Jordan tag. But boom, this is probably the main thing. So it's like the box like I mentioned earlier, but then you also have this little cool, it's a little subtle, just subtle details there, just subtle branding. That's where Fragment's always subtle, it's a little Fragment uh, emblem there. And then yeah, this will even work like, I could probably rock these with the Jordan 1 fragments, like that's why I cop like the black one. Maybe I can do a fit pick with the black and Jordan 1s later. Um, I've got this crew neck, but I'm gonna try and get the hoodies and the long sleeves. If you have them in a double XL, uh, let me know. But so small Air Jordan embroidery here on the chest, and then we also have like this NBA sort of patch here on the bottom corner, which is all right, it looks cool to be honest. Uh, so black will probably be the same, but that one's just triple black. The whole print is black, so you're not gonna see the details like you would with this one. But yeah, I think this with Jordan freeze. We'll give that a shot and let me know how that looks. So boom, I put the so I got the grey one on. I'm just gonna show you how it looks on because you won't see the details of the black one. Uh, but I'm gonna wear the black one for the fit pick because the greys are different. Uh, let me know how you think the t-shirt looks. But I'm gonna switch to the black one and I'm gonna wear the Jordan freeze and then I'll give you an on feet look of that and the cadence as well. So yeah, let's get into the on feet look. Let me know down in the comments which ones is your favourite out of these two.
So yeah, we got caught out in this rain. Look at the state. So as you can see, I am soaked. But yeah, pretty much it was clear. Suddenly it went dark and then uh, while I was taking my fit pick, uh, it started raining. But I, luckily, I managed to get all my fit picks done. I was going to do a group pick like the one I put on my Instagram story for my Instagram for the carousel. But that didn't work out because obviously it's pissing rain. I was just going to put it on the floor with the Mew and all three fragments together. But at least you can have a look at my Instagram story. But yeah, Marie is drying up these shoes just in case. Like I said, the heels will start this colouring quickly. I'm not really fussed. I have a lot of old Jordans for like 20 year old Jordans, 15 year old Jordans. So I'm not really fussed about this colouring. But since I just got them today, I want to keep them fresh. Look how wet my arm is. But yeah, Marie's just doing that while I finish this outro off. But guys, let me know what your favorite shoe out of those two are. Which one are you most likely to wear? You might not be a Jordan 3 fan, but you might like these. But yeah, literally. So those are like my new beaters. They're, these are 95 pounds, the Candence. Whereas the Jordan 3s were like 180-ish. I can't remember, just because I bought the clothing as well. So I don't know which is the exact retail price for the 3s. But yeah, hopefully the fit pick comes fire. It's just a clean, simple fit pick. Obviously, I need to post a fit pic to promote the video. So if you're new here, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. We're going to do more sneaker videos. We do Supreme every week as long as it's a good drop. Last week was pretty rubbish, so we didn't go. But any and every good drop, we're going to do the North Face tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see anything streetwear and a lot of other things. We do. We bring a lot of variety to this channel, hopefully in the future. So guys, if you want to check that out, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. not the best shoes for this weather.